Hey guys, I wanted to explain data feeds in this video. So first let's uh, explain basically what we have and the entire concept behind. So data feeds are dynamic product blocks and I will show you the examples in just a second that are fed from your Shopify store. So we can pick any category. We have accessories here. We can exclude categories. You choose a metric. So it's either ordered product, viewed product, or a blend between ordered and viewed product and then the order in which the products are going to be shown. The order can be the popular product, trending product, or random. Whatever we choose, we will see the different products based on that. So if we will choose order product, it will only look at what products were purchased, and between these products, you will see popular products, trending, or random products. Let me show you how it looks like in an email or the editor. So this is pretty much the old editor, but it's very similar. You can choose the products, insert the block, and as you can see here, you can select the products you want from the catalog, right? And you can browse products, browse products, you can add whichever products you want. And however, if you have an abandoned cart or any of the flows that are sent on repeat to all these customers, you don't wanna send them always the same products because they might look at the products that are trending at the time they open it. So you want to f choose rather a feed. Start with item number one. It's pretty self-explanatory. You choose a feed. So most popular, popular bracelet, pop popular earrings, popular necklaces, popular new arrivals. So we've decided our viewed product trending, right? So we've decided which category we wanted to choose from. If that is in a, uh, in f a flow, for that particular category, campaign for that particular category, it can choose this category and it will start showing these products. So let me sh show you how, pre when we preview it. So instead of randomly showing the products, didn't save the block, but um, in, instead of randomly showing um, any products or instead of not randomly, instead of picking the products you wanted to show, you can let the data determine which products are going to be shown there because there's a chance that if their products are popular on your website they're gonna sell more likely right and also if they're popular that means people are buying them that means it, had, it will have more reviews and there's a higher chance that people will buy these particular product of course if you have only two or three or four products in your store then you can pick these products manually but this is a cool feature that allows you to really set up flows and, and every flow will look different if you design it even better Obviously, I didn't just spend any time designing here, but if you design it, you have your um, pretty unique emails because every email will be different. If you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to us in the community and we'll make sure to answer your questions as soon as possible.